Now see a grouping of capacitors. In different electrical circuits, we need capacitors of the different values. For that, the grouping of capacitors are required. It means if you have got the capacitors of the certain values, they can be used by combining in the different way to get the different values of the capacitance. First one is here the series combination of the capacitor. Here I have taken three capacitors, one is C1, C2 and C3. These three capacitors are connected over here and with the help of the battery V of the V volt. This is the positive terminal of the battery and this is the negative terminal of the battery. Now, when the plus Q charge is given to the this plate of the capacitance C1, capacitor C1, so when this plus charge is given here, then minus Q charge is induced on the other plate of this capacitor and plus Q charge will be induced to the other side, which will be transferred to the here one plate of the capacitor C2. So, similarly here there is again negative charge, there is plus Q and there is minus Q. So, in the series combination of capacitors you can see negative plate of the one capacitor is connected to the positive plate of the another capacitor and also then the negative of the third one is the positive of the third capacitor. And but see here whatever the charge is given the plus Q over here that is actually going to the all capacitor. So, in this case we can write here Q remains constant that means constant for all the three capacitors, but the potential difference will be different across these three capacitors. Suppose potential difference across the C1 is V1 and here is V2 and here is V3. So, now we can write as we know it here the Q remains same. So, we can write V1 is equal to here in this case Q upon C1, V2 is equal to Q upon C2 and because Q is equal to Cv from there I have taken the V and V3 is equal to here Q upon C3. But if you add these three potential, uh, put a three potentials V1, V2 and V3 across the three capacitors, you will be getting the total potential difference V. So, you can write V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 and here this V is called total potential difference. So, for this total potential difference we can write the total charge and equivalent capacitance. So, we can write here Q upon C, here C is the total capacitance of the combination from here to here is equal to Q by C1 plus Q by C2 plus Q by C3. So, now these Q will get cancelled. So, we will be getting here 1 upon C is equal to 1 upon C1 plus 1 upon C2 plus 1 upon C3. So, this is the total capacitance in the series combination of the three capacitors. And now from here it is clear that the equivalent capacitance is actually less than the any individual capacitance. So, in the series combination two important thing is your first one here the Q remains constant or Q is the same through all the capacitors and potential V is divided into the three parts according to their capacitance. So, equivalent capacitance can be found for the series combination by this method.